Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So, I am back in the same outfit, like I said in the previous video with the previous review. If you haven't seen that review, you can click the eye on the screen for that. But, this is another book review, and I am going to talk about one book that's kind of two, if that makes sense, because it has a Bible study that goes along with it, and I feel like I just need to talk about them both together. Um, before I do that, I need to sip my coffee. This is my Dunkin' Donuts coffee cup that I got from um, Dunkin' Donuts, obviously. And um, inside, it's just a homemade, um, what is this? I don't want to say vanilla iced coffee because it's not vanilla because I use the Cold Stone um, Sweet Cream Creamer. So it's just a really nice creamy iced coffee. It's really good. But, review. So, if you haven't, I mean, you obviously seen the title so you know what this book is about. This review is about, but I'm going to be talking about The Battle Plan for Prayer from Basic Training to Targeted Strategies, and this is by Alex and Stephen. I think it's Stephen Kendrick. I'm not sure if it's Stephen or Stephen. I say Stephen. Perfectly it's Stephen, if it's not, I'm sorry, um, Kendrick. So, they are the Kendrick brothers, and they are the creators of War Room. They have made um, Fireproof. They made uh, The Grace Card. Um, there, there's like literally so many movies that they have made. I literally, I think I own every single movie that they've created. I'm gonna do a whole video on their, um, on their DVDs and movies that they have out. But this is a book based off of War Room and it comes with a Bible study. And as you guys can see, the little sticker up here says inspired by the feature film War Room. So, yes. I love this. Um, the two of these go hands in hand. I want to thank my sis Angela from Transform Through God's Word for introducing me to these. She mentioned these a while ago. Actually, last year. Wow, last year. Um, to me for book club for Daughter of Increase. And we did the book and the Bible study together and it was amazing. I know she's doing it right now in her group. Oh, I think she is. Don't quote me on it. I, I believe she is. If she is, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but they are doing the DVD study as well it does come with dvd studies you i'm gonna leave a link down below for you guys to sign up to her um sign up to join her facebook group is the sister group of daughter of increase because that is my sister and i love her and i love all the ladies and transform through god's word a lot of them are in daughter of increase and some of them aren't i love each and every single lady in her group i love her i love what she's doing i love the growth like i love my sis angela like so much so much she is really like sis okay that's sis like we here sis we here but anyways um yeah so i'm gonna talk about the book and the bible study i don't even know where to go i'm gonna start with the bible study because i personally i, I still have a few pages to do in this bible study i'm not gonna lie like um this last page i didn't do <laughs> i think all the ones that have like things on top are ones that i didn't finish yeah like most of them are like the beginning day one kind of video session um portions because i just was slacking but i did actually do like the full study i was like doing the study and i enjoyed the study so much it's very personal it really just walks through the different types of prayers the different strategies of prayers um the ways you can pray and i i if you're really trying to grow in your prayer life i highly 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 suggest the bible study and the book um it's amazing so going on to the book I don't even know where to begin with this book because this book is so this book is a total of 35 chapters and not including the last few of things so um all of this down here is like they're not chapters but they're parts of the book um but there are 35 chapters this book is 200 and 200 over 257 pages long um and I love it so it goes into different parts so the first part is enlistment which talks about the legacy of prayer the power of prayer and the priority of prayer then you have part two which talks about basic training which is the why which is like the ultimate purpose of prayer what is and what isn't prayer the different types of prayers um how you can have scheduled prayer and spontaneous prayer the postures of prayer the keys of prayer the locks i mean it goes on and on, and on. part three is about conditioning so it's really about your heart um, part four is about the different strategies of prayer. Part five is the different targets. Then there's a part six, which talks about the ammunition and a part seven, which is about reinforcements. Um, and the part six and part seven are kind of like appendixes that are like extras. They really have nothing to do with the chapters, but they're great reads, like phenomenal. First of all, I absolutely loved 
each prayer thrown in this book. I mean, I was in here marking up my book. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, I was marking, I was writing definitions down, writing my thoughts in the corners. I mean, highlighting like a, a crazy person in here. Just, I was really involved in this book. Um, it... <laughs> It's so hard to talk about this book because it's on prayer and it's just like prayer is definitely a personal thing there is no real wrong way to pray but there is a wrong way to pray if that makes sense um you know there's a scripture oh my god i think it's matthew 6 verses 6 through 8 that talks about um how to pray and how not to pray and then obviously 9 through i think 13 it talks about the lord's prayer but um you know the wrong the wrong way to pray would be where you're just uttering vain words where your words have no real meaning when you're just doing repetitive prayers over and over with without your heart really being into it that's kind of the wrong way to pray the right way to pray is making sure that your heart is in it making sure that your heart posture is correct making sure that you're praying god's will making sure that you're praying his word it's not just praying what you want to pray or asking god for what you want to ask um prayer is more so about you finding the will of god and not um changing the will of god so i really like that this book really dives into the different ways you can pray and different into the different types of prayer i mean it really just dives deep there are a lot of um hebrew and greek word studies in here lots of scripture references i mean i learned so much different things that you that, that i could pray um now a lot of these things i already kind of sort of knew but um this is just a great one and i love the different prayers in here so this one is chapter which chapter was this this is on um chapter six the types of prayer and then they use first timothy two and one which says i exhort first of all that supplications prayers intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men this is in a new king james which i love um, and then he talks about Acts, which is something that I'm going to be getting to getting into on my blog. Um, but Acts is an acronym for a, a way of kind of like a method that you can pray in which you're doing adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and uh, I think it was supplication. Yeah. So um, there's different ways, right? So at the end of this, at the end of the um, chapters, there are a ton of prayers that you can pray. So this one says, Father in heaven, I praise your name as holy to be honored. I worship you as my God and ask that you glorify yourself in my life. Search me and cleanse me of anything that displeases you. Forgive me as I forgive others. I thank you for your pr provision, protection, and faithfulness in my life. Thank you for inviting me into your presence daily. Teach me to pray, O Lord. Train me to joyfully bow and worship, to freely confess any and all sins. I thank you with a humble heart, praying this for myself and also for those closest to me. All to your glory, O God, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. So um, this prayer may sound simple, but I personally found the prayers in here impactful, especially for someone like me who is very... Um, I get very nervous. Literally, I break out in a sweat when people ask me to pray um, out loud. I don't know what it is. It, even when it comes to praying out loud during grace, um, like when we have to do grace in the house, I freak out. I mean, it's not that I can't pray because I know that I can pray when I'm in my personal prayer time. I could pray some good prayers. I, I, I can pray. But there's something about being around other people that makes me really nervous. So um, for someone like that um, who is very um, nervous at praying out loud or don't know what to pray or does not know what to pray, um, these prayers are powerful and they definitely can help and um i found myself enjoying all of these prayers well, here's another prayer um this one is in chapter 20 it's titled the word of god and the prayer says thank you lord for your word thank you for not leaving me here to guess what you're like or what you've promised to do i pray you'd not only fashion your word in my mind but also use it to direct my hands and feet to serve you obey you and stay clean-hearted before you may i truly love your word and cling to it as my lifeline to your truth love and wisdom i mean just such richness um and even though they're simple prayers they're really rich and heavy and i'm um, really getting you to understand um as far as the the chapters like i said all 35 chapters are amazing i loved them like hands down i love the entire book with the prayers um and then for the appendix section so i'm gonna run through that quickly so you have rhythms of prayer hopefully you guys can see this i'm not sure if you can but you have rhythms of prayer which um talks about like weekly prayers monthly prayers quarterly prayers and yearly prayers um, and then you go into, I can't even show you guys like that, but, um, then you have the spiritual temperature test, which if you guys did watch, um, War Room, you know where 
um, she asked Elizabeth about um, whether she liked her coffee hot cold and um, things like that and then Elizabeth started talking about church and she was saying she was lukewarm and then you know she was given the lukewarm coffee it's, it's kind of similar to that where you actually do the test for yourself so um, it gives you indicators of a cold or a lukewarm Christian then appendix three goes into the gospel and what the gospel is which I think is perfect that they have that there um, it also includes a prayer and then appendix four now appendix four I have marked with a, 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 a little post-it because these are prayer strategy verses and these are different ones so you have some for your wife your husband your children for the pastor and ministers at your church for governmental authorities for those who don't know Christ for other believers um, for the laborers in the harvest and even for your city so I like that that's there because there are literally about 15 scriptures for each just about yeah, there are 15 scriptures for each um, one. Some have 16, obviously, but I mean, powerful to be able to take those scriptures and pray them. Then you have Appendix 5, which goes into your spiritual ammo. And this is these are basically verses that they put for certain um, kind of feelings. So when you're angry, for when you're bitter, when you're unforgiving, when you're doubting salvation, when you're prideful, when you're when you feel like the spirit of lust is coming upon you when you have self-rejection they give you a bunch of scriptures that you can go to when you're wrestling with those things then they go into appendix six which is about the names of god so you have the old testament hebrew names for god then you have names for jesus all with their references obviously to the scriptures and i mean the list this 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 is amazing so old testament hebrew names for god then you have names for jesus and that goes for like a lot of pages okay then you have names for the holy spirit and then you have actual names for god so i think that again that's great for those who are new then they give you appendix seven which is about starting a prayer ministry and then you go into discussion questions which are basically questions for each chapter in this book um, and then that's pretty much it. So I know this review was all over the place because this is one of those books where I really don't know how to review it just because there's so much to this book. There is so much knowledge. There's so much um, packed in here. Lots of scripture references, lots of um, word studies, lots of understanding prayer. If you want to grow deeper in your prayer life, I highly suggest you get this. Um, even if you're a teenager watching my video, I highly suggest you get this because you can definitely learn a lot. And if you haven't seen War, War Room already, please go see that movie because the movie is bombs.com. It is the best. I own the DVD for it. I have it downloaded on my computer. Like, I love that movie. I try to watch it every other, every two to three months. I try to watch it, especially when I feel like my prayer life needs a little bit of a kick to it because I just love the movie it's just amazing it's very inspirational and they have a book like this um this paired with fervent which i did review already um i definitely highly recommend obviously i would say if you can get the bible study they go hands in hand so what you need is a battle plan for prayer book the bible study and war room and you're set and if you're a woman get fervent because you're gonna need it like amazing amazing deal amazing on prayer and i am getting heavy into prayer myself personally just because i know god is calling me to prayer like he's calling me to a different level of prayer and um i need to really really get there so yes actually as i'm recording this video we are into week three i think of our prayer uh challenge i am hosting a 40-day prayer challenge on my blog if you're interested the link will be down below we are into week three i think we're like 15 or 16 days um we're 15 days actually 15 days into this you're probably not going to see this until next week but um yeah we'll be ending week three by the time you see this video going into week four and um i'm definitely going to do another kind of prayer challenge kind of thing again probably towards the end of the year but um this time around was very much intimate quiet hush hush because it was more so a personal thing and then god told me to open it up um and i didn't want to open it up so much that i would get hectic because it is hectic trying to keep up with posts every single day because there's a prompt there's journaling um i you know break down some scriptures like there's a lot into it so i didn't want to you know get really crazy with it but um i definitely want to do one of these again probably not 40 days probably like 30 days but, um, yeah, I highly recommend 
the battle plan from prayer it's a phenomenal book alex and Stephen kendrick the brothers are amazing i think there's a, a a third and possibly a fourth brother i'm not sure but um they are amazing that the book is amazing i even went and downloaded a bunch of their other books to read i think there's one called love dare or something like that i have that um there's just there's so much and i just love the ministry that they have created especially with their dvds the first movie i've ever watched from them was fireproof which was about a firefighter and his wife and their marriage and that movie was impactful like really impactful and then we saw war room and then my mom and i was like let's you know what let's just go buy a bunch of these dvds so we got the grace card which is about grace um courageous we also got um facing the giants like such profound movies and they do act in their movies which i love um so yeah i highly recommend these books to you as well as the dvds and um yeah that's it for this video if you have any questions comments concerns let me know if you have anything specific that you want to know as far as um the battle plan for prayer let me know like i said this book is very very hefty with all these chapters and it's really hard to review a book like that because it's so hefty um, but I will say if you're looking for a book on prayer to really help you get into your prayer life or reignite your prayer life, that's the one. Because the prayers in there, I personally will pray those prayers out loud myself when I don't know what to pray. Um, but other than that, that is it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.